I find sometimes you see a lot of people when they've got the pin loaded leg curls, a lot of them they'll put a lot of weight on, but then you'll notice, you know, when they've got the handles here or yep. whatever, they're doing more like early rocking and pulling. Yep. So, yeah, like I said, you don't really want to use any upper body. You just want to, like, like your, your heel is your hand and your hamstring's your bicep on your arm. Yep. And you're just curling with your hamstring. That's all you should be using. Not using, you know, yourself to pull it and go crazy. So who, who was the one that showed you this hamstring superset? Me. I taught myself because sometimes I just get bored of doing the leg curls and that. And then sometimes, you know, when you do a normal leg press, when your quads get tired, you feel your hammies come in a bit. So then I figured, well, I know putting your feet up higher, you work your glutes and your hammies. So I just went a bit wider like that sumo. And I figured, well, I'll do these first like the leg curls and like I said I wouldn't go heavy just do as many as you can and really burn them out and then once you can't do any more there go straight to the leg press and do that but you can only really do it if the gym's not busy you don't want to be an arsehole and take up two pieces of equipment but if you're at home yeah you can do it all day or get your mate to do you do it if you vice versa yeah, yeah. exactly and then people just go look oh look at them two taking up all the equipment with their tripods <laughs> This is the Iron Master Pro. And like I said, with these people, like I said, some people say they sit up like this or again, wherever it's comfortable for you, but I generally just lay like that and get a good squeeze. And again, generally with leg, well, like when I was younger, I'd go heavier, but then I found going lighter it's almost like you know, when you're doing a bicep concentration curl i find sometimes you see a lot of people when they've got the pin loaded leg curls a lot of them they'll put a lot of weight on but then you'll notice you know when they've got the handles here or yep. whatever they're doing more like early rocking and pulling yep so yeah like i said you don't really want to use any upper body you just want to like like your your heel is your hand and your hamstring's your bicep on your arm. Yep. And you're just curling with your hamstring. That's all you should be using. Not using, you know, yourself to pull it and go crazy. So yeah. just really focus. Because like I said, your hammies will get worked squatting heavy, doing heavy leg press. This here, you want to just really focus just on the hamstring itself. And like I said, so sometimes I wouldn't even pick a rep range. I'll just keep going until I couldn't do any more. And then if I was stuck like here, I'd have a training partner like just grab my ankles and push it all the way up. Yep. And sometimes towards the end, you'd push it up and I might only go to there and just do little partials of him pushing it in. So some, so one criticism people have of plate loaded um, leg curls uh -huh. is that you can't squeeze at the top. Why not? I just did. <laughs> oh, you can squeeze, why can't you? It's not like, if this is coming all the way up and you go as far as your legs can squeeze, the plate's not gonna fall off. So I don't get why, why can't you squeeze at the top? <laughs> who's, who's saying that? Like I said, I got a good pump there now. So as soon as you go from there, they're burning. They're burning bad. You get over here. Put your feet, like I said, in that position. And then it's like I said, you just want to, I'd probably have that one lower, but like I said, you just want to keep in that range. Don't lock them out. And every time you go up, really squeeze your hamstring and your inner quad. And again, you're just doing as many as you can. Of course, I have more weight on, but I'd probably go like three, four plates tops. Yep. But like I said, as many reps as you can on there, I wouldn't even count it, just like I said, to failure. And then come straight on here. And then just pump them out doing that. You know, it's like, I'm a bit stiff at the moment, but that's as far as I can curl my hammy in. So 
I don't know how much further I'd have to curl it. That's like full contraction to me there, so I don't know whoever said. And the weird thing is I've used the pin loaded ones and this is telling the truth, the pin loaded ones at the gym, leg curls and extensions, I have an Ironmaster bench at home and I can honestly say when I use the plate loaded leg curl and extension, I actually feel it more than the actual pin loaded one. So I don't know why that is, but wherever I get those mental images of plats sitting there doing that plate loaded leg extension, but whenever I use this at home, doing leg extensions with the plates, I feel it more on my quads for some reason, so. So if I had the choice, I'll take the plate loaded one for the leg extension and leg curl any day. And also I think a lot of, you get different equipment and then your body, you learn how to adapt to it. That's uh -huh. one advantage of training at uh -huh. home. Can I yeah. just say I was doing extensions on this, even though it's on the angle for leg curl, but for some reason, I don't know why, when I'm doing this with the plate there, even just that little lightweight, that's my cord for my kidney transplant there. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Look, he's got yeah, wires on yeah. him. <laughs> the other one's gone. That's his pace. <laughs> only got one left. Let's do the other the <laughs> only one. Only get half a pump. Yeah, but for some reason, I just get a better squeeze on this. And the thing I like about this, when I am at home by myself, when I do go to get stuck, and you get like here, you can just sort of grab that and give yourself a little spot. And again, when you want to do one leg at a time, you can do your one legs. And like I said, where it's just a mental thing, I don't know, but all the years I've been training, and I should do it more at home, but because I dropped the wife off, I go, I'll just go to the gym. I often think I should do legs at home because at home, I have the Iron Master one like this, and I have the, you know, the squat machine one, the leverage one. Yep. All of them, every time I do it at home, I have a much better quad workout than when I go to the gym. So, just that at home, it's like, oh, I'm at home. You've had someone come over with me, you know, rub my back and Matt. Yeah, yeah but yeah, but get a pump yeah, then. I don't know why, but every time, like I said, I put the plate loaded one on, I get a much better quad, quad squeeze, and I feel it better than if I'm at the gym. And I think too, sometimes at the gym now, a lot of the new ones get on some leg extensions, they're on fancy angles and shit. And sometimes I feel my knees more than my actual quad. My favorite one used to be, remember the old universal one? It was just yeah, a flat, yeah, yeah. flat bench. They used to be my favorite. If you're asking me, I'll take the plate loaded any day over the pin for muscle contraction and actually feeling it. So whoever said the other obviously doesn't train properly. Or they're trying to sell a pin loaded machine. <laughs>